Greetings one and all, welcome back to the Easy and Delicious Kitchen uh, I'm going to be making you some cassava cake today um, in the Fijian style so I guess this is such a simple easy 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 few ingredients recipe but talking about ingredients probably the biggest obstacle I've had living here in Australia is sourcing um, cassava so just a couple of days ago I happened to be in one of the Asian supply shops and I was actually looking for something else but I looked in their freezer there and lo and behold I found this packet of frozen cassava minced and I immediately thought you little beauty time to make some cassava cake you know, like I used to uh, enjoy when I lived in Fiji so I was just lucky to get this because um, it was actually mostly a Southeast Asian supply shop and unbeknownst to me they eat a lot of um, they actually make cassava cake in the Philippines as well and there was a lot of Philippine Pino ingredients there so if you're looking for it check out your Asian shop alright let's go on with making our Fijian style cassava cake So like I say, I've got my um, frozen cassava, uh, frozen, but I have actually obviously defrosted that. And I'm just going to use this whole packet, which happens to be 900 grams. So I'll just get that into my bowl. And I mean, this is so simple, it's already grated. Just ready to go, ready to make a cake. Like I say, this is going to be one of the easiest things I've made on this channel, but it's also going to be delicious. Alrighty, so there's my cassava. I'm just going to add, I've got about a quarter of a cup of cast sugar. And I've got three quarters of a cup of desiccated coconut. And I'll just mix them up a bit. So I've just mixed that through a bit. So, yeah, like I say, I, I only put in a quarter of a cup of sugar. You can actually add more, that sort of to taste. I haven't got a huge sweet tooth. And also now, because I'm gonna be adding, I've got a small tin here of um, condensed milk. And I'm just gonna be adding about half of that to our mixture. And I'm reserving, yeah, about a half. Half of that. And that's going to be added about halfway through our baking. So yeah, this is going to be baked. But I'll just mix that condensed milk through. So that's sweetened condensed milk. So it's actually adding some more sweetening to it. Like I say, so if you want it sweeter, add a bit more sugar. But for my taste, that's going to be sweet enough. Alright, so I've got that condensed milk mixed through that now. It's thoroughly mixed up. So all I need to do is get my cake tin here, which as you can see I've greased with a bit of butter. And get my mixture into it. Like I say guys, it doesn't get much easier than this. Basically, how many is that? One, two, three, four ingredients. Also use this spatula thing and we'll just push it in. Now, I've had the oven preheating at 180 degrees Celsius. So that's the temperature I'm gonna be uh, cooking it. Initially I'm gonna cook this for about three quarters of an hour 
and then I'll check it. Right there, guys. So it's been yeah, like about 45 minutes. I've just got my cassava cake, and it's looking nice and uh, nearly well, pretty well cooked. All I'm going to do now is get the rest of my uh, condensed milk and tip that over the top. And we'll just spread that around and then um, put it back in the oven just for another, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes. Just want to say a big bowl of anaka to all my Fijian friends out there. Up in Lambasa Way, Savu Savu, Tabiuni, Suva, wherever you are. Hope you're all going good. Hope to get over this soon for another visit. Alright, back in, like I say, just for another 15 or 20 minutes. Alrighty guys, so yeah, it's 15 20 minutes later. So I've just got my uh, cassava cake, as you can see here, out of the oven. So it's gone nice and yeah, a little bit sticky on top from that extra condensed milk. I'm just going to let that cool down a little bit and then I'll slice it up and serve it. So, for those of you that don't know, cassava is a root vegetable found around um, in the Pacific Islands and uh, Asia, Southeast Asia and that and I know in um, the Pacific Islands at least it's a real staple root crop vegetable that you mainly eat as a savoury vegetable but it can be used in a variety of ways and this is just a different way to uh, to serve it alrighty like I say I'll get back to you when it's ready to uh, serve up it's looking good I'm looking forward to a slice of this Alrighty guys, so yeah, my cassava cake's just cooled down a bit. It's, um, I've sliced a couple of slices up. It's still a little bit warm, but you can eat this cold, no problems. In fact, it mostly is eaten cold. So you can see it's quite a dense, if that'll just focus there. It's quite a dense sort of cake, and it's supposed to be. It's not light and fluffy at all, it's just nice and, um, they're hearty, actually. I'm going to try a bit. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> My goodness. For such a little effort, that is delicious. Very, very, very nice. Um, like I said, I made this for my palate. It's not super sweet. It's sweet, but not super sweet. If you've got a sweet tooth and you like your cake sweet, probably double the amount of sugar I put in, but I like it just like that. And, man, I'm very, very, very happy. All right, guys, thanks for watching, as always. Thanks to those who've subscribed to the channel, and if you haven't subscribed, think about hitting that subscribe button that'd be nice <laughs> and I'll see you all next time